Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Fahim Khan. I'm a consultant rheumatologist at the Ottoman Hospital Kilkenny in Ireland. And I just want to talk to you guys about the recent outbreak of coronavirus and arthritis. So as you know, most of the patients who have either inflammatory arthritis, autoimmune disorders or conditions, they're taking medications. And some of the medications for arthritis or autoimmune condition has a potential to affect the immune system. For example, patients with rheumatoid arthritis, they're taking a drug called methotrexate. They could be on biologics therapy, like injections with embryo injection, humida injection, and the different types of biologic therapy. Some of the patients are also taking Plaquenil. Some of the patients could be on steroids. So I just want to talk to you whether about this new uh, outbreak of coronavirus that we are experiencing and what is the impact of that in patient with rheumatology and who are taking medications. So first of all, uh, we don't know whether taking immunosuppressant drugs further increase the risk of catching COVID-19. But with our experience with limited studies in patients with uh, viruses in general, uh, limited data suggests that some of the drugs, uh, these are the drugs used to treat autoimmune and inflammatory type of arthritis, like biologics and so on, that would, and steroids may contribute slightly to a high risk or severity of the viral infection. So we know from this data, so coronavirus being a virus, we don't know whether you guys at high risk of catching coronavirus because you're on immunosuppressive or, you know, medications or, you know, steroids. But the one thing very important is that coming to basic common sense advice, frequent washing of hands, using hand sanitizers, avoid to touch the face. All these measures would help to prevent it. And of course, avoiding places which are crowded with people. So overcrowding should of course be avoided. But of course, the most important thing would be that if you develop flu-like symptoms, it's very important to notify your primary care physician. So it's better to talk to your GP about, uh, you know, whether you're experiencing some flu-like symptoms because with coronavirus, it is similar to flu-like symptoms, except there's a fever, headache, cough, is more predominant. But it's better that in the event that you think you have developed flu or you have a bit of cough, maybe running fever, it's better to get it tested for this virus infection. And I would recommend that patients who are on biologic therapy, if you look at as per you know, the guidelines, we are seeing it, uh, patients who are on biologic therapy, like injections, embryo injection, humid injection, and different types of biologics, they should stop the biologic therapy straight away. Methotrexate, Although methotrexate is a drug, there is a, it, it might cause slight risk of infection, uh, but it's better that methotrexate, in my personal opinion, uh, should also be stopped for a minimum two weeks at least or until you know, you know your condition recovers. So I think it's important that biologic should certainly be stopped. But methotrexate, I would recommend maybe no harm to come off methotrexate because methotrexate still stays in your system for a little while and um, patients who are on steroids, unfortunately, they're also, uh, and that is high risk of steroids, but they are also at uh, slightly risk of uh, getting more infection. Uh, you know, the, the infection uh, can get worse in those type of patients. So it's better to notify uh, the doctor or your primary care physician uh, that you are also taking steroids. Um, <clears throat> we, in rheumatology practice, we use steroids at a very, very low dose. We try our best to use it on a low dose. Um, but it is, unfortunately, with the steroid, there is also a slightly risk of, uh, you know, with a high risk of infection or severity of viral infection is there. So just keep mm, uh, all these things in mind. But it's best that to notify your doctor that you are on a list of medication you're taking at the moment. Um, some patients who are taking Plaquenil and with, uh, you know, the studies done in um, viral flu or without, like not COVID-19, uh, we don't have any data available, but uh, the limited data we have, particularly in patients who are taking 
plaquenil, which is hydroxychloroquine. And I believe there was a large uh, study of people with cardiovascular disease. They found that hydroxychloroquine does not increase the risk of infection. So I guess you guys don't need to stop hydroxychloroquine. So the drugs, just to summarize that with, if there is exposure to this COVID-19, the biologic therapy should be immediately stopped. Methotrexate, I think it's better to stop methotrexate temporarily until your condition recovers from this infection. Steroids, in my opinion, it's best to stay on the low dose of steroids, but your doctor could also advise on the basis of steroids. And if there's no need to stay on a higher dose, I would recommend either reducing the dose or you probably would need to come off that. Uh, Plaquenil, there's no need to stop Plaquenil. So I hope you guys have found this information of help. If you need further information, I have put an update on my rheumatology website, which is www.arthritisandpainclinic.com. So www.arthritisandpainclinic.com. So on the home page, you can have a look at uh, some information about the coronavirus, what are the symptoms of this virus, uh, how does the virus spread, and am I more likely to catch COVID-19 if I have autoimmune or inflammatory arthritis? Am I at extra risk because I take medication that suppress my immune system? Can I catch the COVID-19 from my pet? And you know, usual sort of question that we always think of and how deadly the virus is. What should I do if I think I have the virus? So I think it's better that to go by the basics, frequent hand washing, very, very important. Do not touch your face. That's also important because it's normally transmitted, uh, you know, by droplet uh, infection. And um, most importantly, uh, you know, the basic hygiene is very, very important and avoid overcrowded places. Uh, so any question, concern, please uh, contact me on my website, rheumatology email is uh, rheumatologyclinics at gmail.com. So R-H-E-U-M-A-T-O-L-O-G-Y-C-L-I-N-I-C-S at gmail.com. So my name is Dr. Fahim Khan, and that's the details. If you guys have any question, concern, the details of the website. Thank you. Bye-bye.